Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are all having a blessed day. Hey, uh, I was in a, a men's group the other day, and we were having a conversation. And uh, one of the guys was a Catholic. And, you know, a lot of people have problems with faith and no works. You know, that, that your works don't add to it. So I wanted to do a, a video on that, kind of clear that up a little bit. Paul tells us in Romans 9, 31 and 32, he says, But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, has not attained unto the law of righteousness. Why? Because they sought it not by faith, but by works. The Jews tried to get to God through good works, and they utterly failed. What is repentance, and what is saved by grace, and how does works actually fit into that? Romans 10, 9 through 11 says, If thou wilt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth's confession is made unto sin. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth in him shall not be ashamed. To believe in the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart, not a head knowledge, a heart knowledge. When you do that, you believe into action. Your actions will follow. When you understand the debt that you have and the price that Christ paid for you, you love God and you want to live for Him. When you grasp the truth, it changes you inside. You hate sin. You agree with God on the sin issue. You internalize Jesus Christ and you make Him the center of your life. To confess with your mouth means that others hear what's taken place in your life. Romans 10.13 says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You are saved 100% by faith in Jesus Christ alone and His atoning work on the cross. You add nothing to that. All your works add absolutely nothing to you being saved by faith of the blood atonement of Jesus Christ. He paid your sin debt in full on the cross, past, present, and future. And when you realize that and you internalize that, you think to yourself, you know what? God loves me so much, I'm going to live for Him. And that's when works come. Your works come because you're saved. You're not saved because of your works. If you're truly born again, the Holy Spirit comes within your heart and He changes you. It becomes your nature to die to sin and to live for God. People listen. This is a lifelong process. I've been at it 50 years now and I'm barely getting started. It's a lifelong process. God is perfecting you over the course of your life. Little things in your life, He's, he's picking out one at a time, things He doesn't want in there. I call it closing the gap. Here's God. Here's you. Born again, saved. But you got little bitty things in there, little pet sins, little pesky little things that are still between you and God. They're messing up your fellowship. Well, you start getting rid of those, and the Holy Spirit helps. You get rid of those one at a time, and you close the gap between you and God. A professing believer, that's all he thinks about getting rid of those pesky little sins and closing the gap. When you're truly born again, that's what you do. If you're simply a professing believer, 
you could care less about closing the gap. You don't care. You don't care about drawing closer to God. A born-again believer, he's obsessed with it. You'll never achieve perfection. You're never going to get all those pesky little things out. Your whole life, you'll never get rid of every one of them. But you keep working it. You keep striving as if you could. There were ten virgins. Five of them had extra oil for their lamps and five didn't. The bridegroom came. The five ran off to get oil for their lamps. That oil represents the Holy Spirit, by the way. And the Lord took the five that were ready into the wedding banquet, shut the door. The others came, started beating on the door, and he said, Depart from me, I never knew you. Guys, listen. You're saved by faith in Jesus Christ alone. Faith in Him alone. The moment you become born again, you put your faith and trust in Him, your sins are forgiven, past, present, future. And because you're born again, the works start coming. You start helping the poor. You start telling people about Jesus Christ. The works follow. But your works had absolutely nothing, not one single thing, to what Jesus did on the cross. I talk to people all the time, and I tell them that exact message. And works is so ingrained in them, they always say, I believe that, but. That's true, but. People, there's no yeah buts. You are saved by grace alone, by Jesus' atoning work on the cross, and you add nothing to that. Once you're born again, already saved, the works will follow. Anyway, I hope that clears that up. You guys all have a blessed week. Just remember, heaven or hell, you choose. But once you take your last breath, it's a done.